Hi viewers, and today I'm looking at actually removing a partition from a USB stick. So I've acquired this USB stick and it has two partitions on there. And I cannot remove this partition from uh, disk management itself via Windows 10. So I'm going to have to use this part to actually get in here and remove it. What you need to do is get into uh, the command line. So you are going to CMD command line prompt and I normally run this as administrator just to raise the permission levels on there. We need to uh, load in disk parts, so type in disk part in here. The first thing it's going to do is actually jump into the disk part and actually show that disk part is ready by displaying disk part on this line. And I want to list disk. So this disk command pulls out the disks that are currently active. Um, you won't see the partition yet because it's, uh, it's actually at a disk level. Um, as you can see, there are two disks in there, 465 gigabytes, which will be my normal hard drive, and the 28 gigabyte with the 14 gigabytes free is the USB stick. And I'm just going to look at my USB stick. Yep, that is definitely in the one. Um, I'm going to show you in here as well. So it's well worth having the disk management open as well to have a look. As you can see, we can see this one here. We've got a partition of 14.4 gigabytes and 14.2. And it's saying the removal drive is 28.64 gigabytes. So there's your 28 gigabytes there. 14 gigabytes free, it's in there. You can see it's got 14 gigabytes. So we need to actually remove this one. So the first thing we've got to do is select that disk. You need to select disk one. Make sure you select the right one. Select disk one. So it's saying now that this one is now selected. And we should be able to list the partitions by list partition. Oop, spell partition right. Uh, sorry. Partition. There we go. So this partition. So we've got two partitions on here. One's 14 gigabyte and that one's 256 kilobytes. So this was um look here, we can see it's what used to be a laptop recovery um USB. It's sitting there, and we've got G and D as part of that USB. So I'll hit right click go properties on here. I always like to double and triple check to make sure I've got the right ones. Two three uh, so two three eight kilobytes. And the laptop recovery. Fourteen point four gigabyte. So that's definitely the one we're in. So we're in the right disk. Get rid of that for now. So I want to get rid of these partitions, and it's as simple as going select partition. Make sure I spell it right this time, and then select the partition you want. So I'm going to select partition two. Partition two is now selected. So now we get to the destructive command, and this is actually deleting the partition. To do this, we just need to type in the words delete. And then double checking that again we're happy with what we're deleting. So reading back up the list, so I'm, I'm actually happy with deleting these positions. So I can hit delete petition, hit enter, and if you notice, the petition disappears from the left hand side here. and with a selective, uh, successfully deleted the, the selected petition. So we've still got the laptop recovery there, but you can see one of one of the drives has disappeared. So the next thing I'm going to do is delete petition one. So it's a simple case of writing select petition one, then running delete again. Sure, 
Oh, sorry. Delete partition. So as we can see, the uh, that's quite frightening. That disappeared. So we've delete this, deleted the selected partition. Open this up. We can see we've got no partitions there. So by rights, if I reload my disk manager, jump into disk management and have a look, see what we got. And now we have, we've got a whole USB drive that's now the full, the full um, USB allocated. Um, Allocated uh, volume space, <laughs> start again. Allocated space is available as one single um, block, and we can actually do a new simple partition on there if we so do it, or actually do it via uh, this part itself if we need to. So that's um, the way of actually getting uh, getting rid of those those partitions on the actual drive itself. So now I'm just going to use uh, this management management. Stick a new simple partition in there. And just, I'm going to, yep. And for my needs, I need this as FAT32 because I'm going to be using it for, um, for uh, retro systems. So I'm just going to perform a quick, quick format on that. I'm just going to let that go. So I'll just give you a new, there we go, a new full volume on there of the designated uh, the actual free space is correct and it's all good to go okay so I hope that helps um, so that's how you actually if you have a USB stick with one or more uh, sorry two or more partitions on there you can actually quick delete and fire this part thanks a lot for viewing and I'll see you later